You know, me thriving in sports in high school, you having to give yourself your own nickname, White Tornado. <laughs> oh, Austin can jump though. Put his calves on Tinder, he's gonna do all right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Austin, our day is here, it's now. The tomorrow we've been waiting for is finally today. For the past nine months and five days, the title of fiance has been the newest and sweetest one to share with you. But I couldn't be more excited or ready to trade that in, level up, and officially be yours. Forever. When I become your wife, it's all in caps. And I have no doubt that this life by your side is one full of adventure. God had such a beautiful plan in mind when he brought together a guy who's seen so much of the world and a girl so curious to go. You've introduced a balance of authenticity and courage that expanded what I thought was possible to feel. And that's just in 4.5 years of knowing you. 3.5 years since our first date, 2.9 years of being your girlfriend. I'm so grateful to have many more years ahead to grow by your side, go through good and bad, journey with Jesus, and love each other others, and ourselves. As this letter comes to a close, I'm praying that you feel peace in so much of my love. I'm also hoping I made no errors, remembered all my Oxford commas, and that you appreciate the rounded corners. Hopefully, just like our wedding day, they're worth the wait. I love you so very much. See you soon. All my love, M. Dear M, for the last time, as two individuals, I love you. Growing up, I wasn't sure if I'd ever find love, more or less someone so magnificent as you. You radiate joy, care, empathy, and faithfulness, and wow, you're going to be a kick-ass wife. I know that every tear of joy we experienced was earned. A raisin season, a separation season, and a beautiful and Jesus-fulfilled season. You are beautiful, and no dress or rain or makeup or anything can change that. I'm so excited to see you and commit my life to you. Jesus, please give us calm today, clear memories, and help us to see you in everything that we do. What I need, your groom. Emily first met Austin, there was an initial attraction. So she sought advice from family and friends. She got some pep talks. And just when we thought this was not gonna happen, the voice of reason came out again. And it said, he's the one. Austin's compassion and unconditional love and acceptance of me quite literally changed my life. You have been Jesus to me and you're good. There's this magical place 
where my sister and I have had some of our most significant interactions. It's the space on the hallway floor between our bedrooms and the house where we grew up. This is the space where we created worlds with toys as kids. It is the space where she told me she was getting married four months before she got officially engaged. <laughs> So Emily and Austin, I hope that you confront the world that lies before you with joy, love, and light. Cheers.